Hello and welcome to Boxhead Nation, and I'm your host, the Boxhead Gamer. Let's get into it. Let's see. Uh, we'll go mail. Wait, what? Is that not mail? There we go. Okay, is audio going through? Game audio? Okay, perfect. Game audio? Uh, let's see, can I... Okay, there we go. So I can check chat. I need to get something so I can check chat easier, though. So we're gonna go with a male character. Can I rotate him around? I am very c confused by why I have, like, a, a dress, but I think I can change that in a minute. Um, let's see. That's okay. Do they have like a very pale? Is this gonna be me? That that one's okay. What color eyes? Ooh, I like I like blue. Um, do I like I like this blue? Let's hear the voices. Oh. Oh no. Oh. I guess we'll go with that. Um, now I guess we can do the hairstyle. Let's uh, let's check that out. Get um, get the hairstyle going. I need to. Let me go to stream manager so I can see chat. figure out how I'm gonna do this I want to just see the chat without having to um channel um let's see can I can I do this in a way where I can see chat without having to, um, change things? I need to get, like, a tablet or something. There's streamer settings? Oh, okay. I'll have to look into that. Um, right now I'm just, uh... Cause I can't see my uh, chat easy. Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. Okay, let's let's see. Figure out how I'm gonna do this. Chat only. There we go. Apply. And now I can see chat. Can I, can I turn this so I can look at it easier? Um, let's see. trying to figure out how okay see ya
I'm gonna figure out how to get the chat the way I want it. But first, let's let's go through the hairstyles. Um, kind of like this one. No, no, I actually like this hairstyle, and we'll do a. Do they have like a chestnut? That that's a no. I like chocolate better. The chocolate hair is good. Um, face mask, no, we don't need that. Outfits. Um. That's cool. Uh. We'll go with this color. And then we'll change the pants. Um. Oh, that looks nice. Um. Okay. So we've we're done with the look. Um, let me Let me just do an announcement in my Discord at everyone. I'm streaming. Live at Twitch dot TV backslash box head gamers I will be playing Palia a new Casual life MMO. There we go. Now everyone should be able to see that, and I will go back to uh, Twitch and see see that, so I can see chat. Okay, unique name. Okay. Box, box head gamers. gamers, gamers, and the villagers will call me box head. Okay. And let's create the character. Time for you to go out into the so world. So I'm new to this game, I so I've just actually started. Um, I don't really know how this game works yet, so it's gonna be kind of see how it goes. Okay, I like the aesthetic of this area. I don't know if this is going to be like a main area we visit, but it looks really nice. I like that bird statue there. Uh, let me know if you think the audio is too loud um, and it's like drowning out my voice. I don't.
Okay. This is a pretty cool entrance. Huh. Own research? Oh my dragon. <laughs> okay. Did I just materialize from nowhere? Um, hmm. I'm gonna go with I have no idea? Huh? It's just none of the other humans knew either, which leaves me back at square one. Okay. So I'm... I'm not the first human here. Uh, let's see. Giant cocoon of light. Okay. We should slow down. Why don't you take this map and head into town where you can talk to Ashura, the innkeeper. He's been helping others like you get settled in. Okay, so... What? I'm wondering what I can do. Because uh, this is pretty cool. I wish I could have done, like, alterations to my skin color. Because I think it would have been cool to be, like, a blue elf person. Kind of like this this person here. They're, they're like, a pinkish purple. But it'd be cool to be like a blue elf. Maybe maybe that's something they add in the future. I don't know. I think it would be really cool. And here's my research assistant. Hecla. Be sure to ask her if you have any questions. I've got to get back to the grind. I got you. Work, work's always important. Well, back to my research. Okay. Uh, let's see. WASD. I'm guessing shift is to sprint. Okay. Yeah, shift is to sprint. So... So we're going through here. Oh, what happened? That was a bit, bit of a lag there. Oh, the audio is super loud. I'm gonna have to drop this down a bit once I can get into settings. Um, let me let me see if I can get this audio dropped down a bit because it is okay. Perfect. Um, let me go back to chat only so I can see chat better. Thank you for uh, pointing it out. I would have been streaming like that for a while if you hadn't But yeah, I've been contemplating what games I'm going to stream. I'm thinking uh, once uh, Immortals of Avium and uh, Armored Core come out, I'm probably going to do a stream of... Oh, what happened? Oh, oh, oh I thought it said rip. It, you just said no problem. Well, uh, I, I think I'm going blind now instead of uh, just... Uh, <laughs> Just not being able to read properly. That could be it. I can't read. Just found out. <laughs> oh, I'm level 2 in foraging? I wonder how high the levels go in this game. I mean, 
I just, I think it's just sometimes everyone, like, messes up, they're reading something, and then they're like, Oh, wait, <laughs> I read that completely wrong. <laughs> but for me, that's, like, a common thing. I don't know why I do it so much, but it's probably just, I, when I read, I try to get through things as fast as I can, so I can get the gist of the message, or the gist of, um... The gist of what's going on. Because I like read books. And uh, one thing I've noticed. Is whenever I'm reading like a book. Action bars. Your action bar is full. You can scroll to action bar number two. So okay. Items in your action bar. Are outlined in your inventory. Place items you can consume. On your action bar for ready access. Okay. So it's. You can just, like, ease of access, just shift action bars just by the spin of the mouse wheel. I'm already liking some of these, like, uh, quality of life. Quality of life uh, features in this game. So I think initially I'm going to have a tent, is what it said. So I'm going to, my goal is to try and get a house maybe in like the first, oh yeah, that's the first thing I noticed when I loaded this game, is like how good the environment is. Um, You're talking to me? Hmm. <laughs> You're talking to me? Uh, let's see, I found this weird thing. I uh, found a lot of strange things in the mine, but not sure what this is. You found it, so you keep it. Okay. That's a nice guy. Yeah, it's a very cozy game. It's pretty relaxing, I think. Because I just like... Uh, I like chill games from time to time. Like, I'll play FPS games like Overwatch. and uh, I played Apex, but I've taken a big hiatus from that. And just jumping into a game like this where you can just kind of sit back and relax. It's not really demanding gameplay. It's pretty nice. So I've got plots to inspect. There should be space to drop this work table down now. Uh, focus on getting a roof over your head. Okay. So quest line. A storage solution. Select the workbench from the action bar using the numbered hotkey. Okay. Rotate the station using Q and E and press to make your final placement. Okay. So we go to one. Um, now where do I want to... Where do I want to put this? Can I put it like on the outside over here? No, it has to be in the plot. Yeah, they can be stressful games. I I usually end up playing with, like, some of my friends. Let's rotate this. Uh, and we'll put it right here. Oh, yeah. First, I want to clear these barrels. I want the plot pretty much as clear as I can get it. Oh, wait. What did I do? Get down to there. I want to pick up these fibers. Okay, so the plot's fairly clear now. Let's um, craft a wooden, wooden storage chest. Okay. Um, where do I want to put this chest? I guess we'll put the chest right by the workbench so it's like easy access for materials. And a makeshift tent. I can't wait to get to the point where I can, like, actually build a house. Let's see. Oh, this tent is huge. I was thinking it was going to be, like, a tiny little tent. But this thing is massive. Uh, let's... I want to line it up with the center here. Um, can I... 
this is going to be frustrating because it's hard to tell. Because I want this centered. I guess this is centered now. So even though it's not a house, this tent actually looks really good. <laughs> Uh, so we need to talk to Ani when he visits my plot. Oh! Uh, you look like you're having a hard time. <laughs> you got like a huge bag. <laughs> Is he missing a tooth? How'd you, how'd you miss that tooth? You, woo, you haven't, you haven't left yet. Uh, I think, I think this, uh, person got into a fight with someone. Because they they were missing a tooth. My mom, Deli Delilah, told me there was another new human in town. And here you are. I ran all the way from the farm here. She wanted you to have this as a housewarming gift. Fresh dairy from Daya Family Farm. Welcome to Killama. Oh, I appreciate that. They're, they're giving me some nice uh, stuff that they have. And I wanted to, you to have your mail. I'm Ani, and I handle all the deliveries around here. Twice a day, every day, rain or shine, six in the morning and six at night. Okay, so they regularly come by to deliver mail, maybe important news. That's neat. Um, so I think it's safe to say my job is about to get a lot more interesting. Do you like getting mail? You look like someone who would like getting mail. Um, yeah, I, I enjoy mail. It's, uh... Oh, he fell off his bike? Oh, man, yeah, that's a rough way to lose a tooth. I know when I was a kid, I think I had hit my head on, uh... Like, a table at home, because I was riding, a, like, a little tricycle inside the house or outside somewhere, and I hit my head, but it turned out fine. But, yeah, that's not a fun way to lose a tooth. Good... Then I'll bet you be happy with what I have for you. Let's check your first mail delivery. Bye. Okay, so how do I... Do I just... How do I check my mail? <laughs> do I, like, control? No. Um... Not escape. I am very confused. Did it bring up a tutorial on how to check your mail you get any cool bug? catch some bugs now bye um oh wait no i did not want to do that let's go back um so how do i i is for inventory can i check my mail through here news collections no so how am i supposed to check my mail uh, let me see if there is a, um, control that'll tell me control settings. Uh, key binding? Um, toggle menu? So that might be it. M for mail? That could be it, too. Let me, I think M is for map, though. Yes. So M pulls up the map. So let's try P to open the menu. But P also opens the map? What? Okay. Um, hmm. Uh, let's see. Proceed. Yeah, that, that's what's happening right now. Wait. Okay, R, I already knew that. Q, um... What did I... Okay, so C also opens your inventory? Um, come on. Ma oh, I pressed M for map again. Um, oh, the mailbox. That, that could be it. I'm just blind. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what... I've been informed by Gina that you've emerged fully formed from the swirling mist. This is wonderful news. Happy day of mist birthing to you, new human. Other humans call me Inar, 
and I would like to share with you the joy of fishing. Oh, he gave me a fishing rod? This is sick. I'm excited. I'm ready to... I'm ready to go fishing, because that, that's a fun thing I enjoyed in Stardew Valley as well, because I, I played a good bit of Stardew Valley with my friend, and fishing was one of the things I really liked. To whom it may concern, City Hall requires I send letters to new residents. You'll find a bow and a set of arrows in the attached package. City Hall also required me to tell you that I am available to tutor you in their use during working hours you can find me in Kilima village this is not an invitation to waste my time i am busy okay so i have a recipe for arrows now and i have a bow i'm thinking i'm gonna go hunting that sounds fun uh let me uh okay yeah i read all this he's located by the pier So how are you settling in? This plot's huge. I heard you can find some pretty cool stuff in the dirt. But yeah, this is a pretty cool game. It's actually, I think it's an open beta. And it's a free-to-play MMO. Which I was excited. Because normally games like this, you'd figure it would be like maybe $20, $30 for something like this. Especially with the quality that it is. I could eat I would easily pay 40 bucks for this if they decided to do that but but I think they're going the cosmetic route. I just hope that the cosmetics are like priced. Uh let's see. I found the strange artifact. I have no idea what it does. Uh, Gina might know. She's always hanging out in the ruins. You should see if she's found something like this before. Okay, I'll take that artifact and get it checked out. But yeah, the one thing I'm worried about is how they're going to monetize this. Because depending on how well they monetize it, this game could last for a while. Or it could end up kind of uh, just going bad. Yeah, I'm, I'll head to the ruins. Um, let's see. Almost forgot. They got me a present. Bug Scout's official belt. It's a set of smoke bombs. So, he's inviting me into the bug catching club. Okay, I'm gonna catch all the bugs. Um, I'm not sure which ones, what kind of bugs there are, but I'm really interested. Bet you're hungry. You should talk to my dad, Badru, to learn how to grow food. And Reth, who works at the inn, he can teach you how to cook. Okay, so I got 20 smoke bombs, and I've got a bunch of arrows. I think I'm going to go hunting, and I'm going to check out the ruins. There's a lot of things to do right now. They're just, like, bombarding me with, like, so many new activities. I'm actually, like, surprised. Very, very pleased with this. Uh, leave your housing plot. Now I'm just going to run this way. I love that when you press shift it's just an auto sprint so you don't have to uh hold down shift you just click it or i think i did something to set it so it would do that and you just press shift and you just book it the only thing that it would be bad for i think is hunting because i don't think uh let's see welcome to palia quest complete as a new startup studio we're so excited you found your way to palia it can't live without players like you giving it a chance. If you like what we're trying to create and want to support Palia further, the biggest thing you could possibly do is simply tell friends and family about it. Okay. Um, I'm probably going to invite friends. Yeah, they have no clue how fast I am. They're, they are not ready for this. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm running now. Okay, so there's a bunch of people to talk to. Um... I'm not sure who I want to talk to first. Um, I think Gina is the purple one up there with the little, like, uh, puff, puff hair, I guess. I'll, I'll call her Miss Puff Hair, even though her name's Gina. I like the hair. It's, it's neat style. I just, I'm gonna struggle remembering all of these characters' names. I guarantee you, like, the 
once I get like a week into this game, I'm gonna be like, who are you? I'm I'm gonna literally forget everyone. <laughs> oh, there's a mission here. Uh, slow down. Uh, let me. Need now. Uh, boxhead, I presume. Mm. Don't act stunned that I know your name. So he's like moody. I I. I don't know how I feel about this guy. He just came off like really uninviting. He's like, I know everything that goes on in this village, including when someone new arrives. My name is Hassian. I'm, I'm going to go with Hassian and hopefully I'm pronouncing it right. I'm in charge of maintaining the natural order of the woods that surround the village. Uh, be good to the valley and we will have no quarrel. Okay, so he's kind of like a nature guy. Use nature poorly and you'll find I know how to rid this village of all sorts of pests. I got your letter. My what? Oh, those pre-written letters City Hall had me sign. My mother is the town's blacksmith. A simple bow like that is easy to supply. takes years to learn proper hunting. Start by aiming the b that bow at something. Like those choppas or a Sernuk. Maybe you'll even manage to hit your target. Uh, let's chat with him. Today has been an adequate day. Um... Was able to hunt enough poo food to provide for dinner for myself and my mother. These pelts should fetch a fair price. Oh, so you can, like, improve relationships with people. So, is Bahari, like, a different location? Oh, it's already 7.52. Um, I don't know if there's, like, you have to sleep in this or not. Uh, let's see. Ashura, uh... I've been starting a new place. Uh can be tough but you've been doing a great job i thought you could i could help you out i've got a couple of recipes for purchases that make make your life a little easier you want to get a sawmill to turn that wood into planks oh but i don't have money to okay so like can i sell things i can sell things but is it worth it what? Okay, I can't sell that. Um, I don't really have the money for any of this stuff. Um, I'm gonna... I'll chat with him. Go fishing for fun. I'm gonna need to figure out how to, um... Get some money, because I don't have any clue how I'm going to get by in this game if I don't have any money. Um... Is there a person here? Oh, wait, yeah. Who's this? Reth. What's up? Ah. Uh, one of the newbies. Yep, that's me. Uh, number one newbie for life forever. Um, name's Reth. You can call me Trouble. Okay, I mean, I've never met anyone who decides to call them Trouble and have a good time with them because the Trouble is always <laughs> a bad thing for me. Uh, in addition to being bad news, I also provide Kilima with delicious soups and stews here at Ormu's Horn. Okay, so they're a chef. Um, can you teach me to cook? You gotta learn to walk before you can swim. Unless you're a fish, but I'm 97% sure you're a human. Yep. Yeah. Definitely a noob slayer. I'm gonna be fishing all the time because fishing is gonna be fun. Um, I might uh, end up putting my palia thing into chat later because you can invite people and you get rewards for pe the people who you invite that join. Why don't you start by out m by making campfire? For your place once you start grilling up shrooms like a champ we'll get you started in the complicated stuff 
You don't want to be stuck in a tent for the rest of your life. Probably a good idea to talk to Kenley next. He's the mayor, but hey, I won't judge either way. Let's talk with him, see what he's got to say. Hossian stops by here every day to play cards with Ani. Kind of surprised me that he's taken such a liking to the little guy. Oh yeah, Ani is the little, like, delivery person. They deliver mail. Um, before that, I thought the only thing he wanted was a place to contemplate how much other people disappoint him. Yeah, he did seem like that kind of guy. He's just like, yeah, if, if you mess up, I know how to get rid of you. I'm like, ah, please don't get rid of me. Right. Not yet. I just joined. <laughs> Wait, wait till next week. <laughs> uh, where? Okay, so this is like 219 meters. Can I fish without bait? Or do I need bait to fish? Move the left and right to aim the reticle at the fish. Okay. Fish will try to escape the reticle in various ways, including jumping. Do not reel the fish while the fish is outside the circle. Hold down the mouse button to reel in the line. Only reel in when you have the fish centered in the reticle. Okay. So I'm going to catch some fish and try and sell this so I can get, uh... Can I... Wait, is it always gonna be that far? If I back up, does it... Like, can I adjust how far this, this goes in the water? I'd really like to... Now do I see... Will I see a fish? Oh, okay. I did not do very well with that. Um. Wait. Wait, what did it say? Something about no bait. Fish without bait attached. You'll only catch very basic fish. Okay, so I'm not going to get anything like fancy if I don't have bait. But that's fine for now. Um, I must be very bad at fishing. I am not... Do I have to, like, wait till the fish, like, interacts with it? Uh, let's try this again. <laughs> I want... I will catch you, fish. Just you wait. Okay, I think I've got the hang of it now. What did I get? Oh, a striped dance. Or dace. Uh, okay. Um, there's a fish right there. Oh, do I have to... Oh, I think I have to... Like, start reeling it in right when I see it. Um, do fish just like... Okay. Oh, so I got a regular dance this time. Okay, so I can just, like, aim. Am I getting, like, extra XP because this person is here? So I need enough fish so that I can, um...
Spotted Bullhead. Okay. I'm just going to do a little fishing. Try and get enough money to get a wood mill, a wood saw. And then after that, I'm going to uh, check out the other NPCs. Perfect catch. That's awesome. But yeah, this, this game is feeling very relaxing already. Um, I need to find... Where was that guy who um, I can sell things to? I am already confused. There's so many buildings. <laughs> is he in here? I think he's in here. Uh, so, G to open the store. Um, 31 gold, 21, and 21. I know you get more money if you cook fish. I can't sell here? So, how do I, how do I sell my stuff? Where do I go? <laughs> oh, no. I guess I'll have to figure out uh, where to go in a minute. Um, I'm going to find uh, Badru and learn how to um, learn how to garden. Oh, he's asleep. So I guess I'll go to um, Gina and ask about the artifact. I'm still blown away by how nice this game looks. And it plays fairly smooth. I took it off of the highest uh, setting and put it on uh, high just so I would get better performance. Okay, let's see. She's going to check this artifact. Ancient flow battery. Power sources for ancient humans. Uh, I'm going to say this is fate. I'm not really a believer in fate, but this is some coincidence. Maybe a bit of time to figure out what this does. Um, okay. Yep, yeah, I'm okay with that. Send me a letter once you figure this out. Oh my gosh, is it night already? Looking at the sky, I can do that. Yes, it's definitely night. Yeah, I, I mean, I could, I could tell it's night. <laughs> uh, I wonder if time progresses like if it'll change to daytime when you go to your uh place oh that's an issue i forgot where <laughs> i forgot how to get home <laughs> let me open the map um okay so my housing plot is there i i almost forgot how to get home that would have been very <laughs> very embarrassing <laughs> the one thing i do wish they had because this is such a big, like, open world, I like how they have, like, the marker to lead you to where, to how to get home. But I wish there was, like, a mini-map. An Elden Ring no-hit run? Um, I'll give that, like, maybe, uh, may maybe when the DLC for Elden Ring comes out. I'll make a new character and we'll we'll go from there. But until the DLC comes out, I am not not going to try to do a no hit run quite yet. Um, let me let me open craft items. Oh, I can make a campfire. Uh, let's do that. Okay, let's see. Where do I want to put this campfire? Um, I'm thinking I put the campfire... Can I put it right here? No. Uh, how close? Okay, I can get it there. Try and, like, maximize space here. How do I use this? F to grill. Oh, I don't have enough mushrooms. What did I do? Okay. Okay. 
So, I need to find another mushroom, I guess? Uh, I'll have to figure out where that is. Um, oh, there's a mushroom. Perfect. Oh, and there's a little pond. Can I, like, fish in this pond? Let me, let me see. I, I gotta see if I can fish in this tiny little pond. There's no way, right? Yeah, yeah, you can't fish in the pond. Worth a try. Um, let me go... I'm gonna go over here and, like, harvest some of this stone. Oh, wait, why am I walking into a tree? Oh, I, I can't break that. Okay. So flint, uh, we'll, we'll come out here if I need to harvest more materials later. I guess, oh wait, did I, I didn't get that other mushroom I saw. Here you are. Can I jump over the fence? No. Oh wait, I can! That That's convenient. Already found the, the elite uh, s skills skipping uh, over the fences. Okay, so I'll make a couple more campfires because I feel like the more campfires I have, the easier it'll be to start like a cooking thing. Like I'll just start uh, making recipes. Let me make, um, we'll make two more campfires, I think. Okay, so I have learned that the campfires do not stack. How can I... There we go. Put that one right there. And the mushrooms are done. Eat a grilled mushroom to gain focus. Okay. Uh, let's see. I need to go to the other hot bar, and it'll be seven, and I'll put down the other, other one right here. Can I get that closer? Yeah. I'm really excited for, uh, the Phasmophobia, uh, console edition, though. Use 50. How do I use my focus? Um. Do I use focus by, like, harvesting? Hmm. Oh, okay, yeah. So harvesting refill uses my focus. And I think the focus basically, as you use up focus, you gain XP. You gain more XP in a stat when you use focus. But yeah, you're, you you might need to check this game out. I'll send you the invite code I have. That way I can get closer to getting some, like, cosmetics and stuff. And we can just do, like, a chill run of this game. Because uh, I'm pretty sure your computer probably could run it. Um, But yeah. Yeah, Brick, hopefully we can uh, play this game or play some games in a little bit. Maybe we'll do some streams together. Because you can stream off of your console and we can just do, like, group streams. I'll have to figure out how to get the audio sorted. Because it's been, been a bit since I uh, did, like, group streams. I've been doing a lot of solo streams lately. Uh... One that I'm really enjoying is Pokemon Unite, because it I took like a hiatus of like a year from that game, and I came back and there was like so many new Pokemon. I just jumped in and I was getting destroyed every now and then just by by these NPCs. Well, not NPCs, but destroyed by like players who are using some of the new characters. 
Because that's the one thing that never gets old with, uh, like, MOBAs and stuff. The new characters are usually always released very strong. And then they get nerfed later down the line. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all on the flip side. Peace out.